Hey guys, Joe here from 3 p.m. 51. And we have Jamie with his, what deck you playing? Playing Guillotine and Lost Box. All right, so we're gonna go into it and we'll get your insight on it after. All right, for me, basically, you know, the main boys of the deck, got the three Guillotine Vs to the, to the three Guillotine V stars, vice versa, wrong way around. Basically the main guy of the deck, you wanna charge up, charge feature Lost Zone, get the Star Requiem, pretty much knock out your big boys like your Gujas, your other crazy um, V stars or V maxes in, in the game. For your Lost Zone engine, you play the two of the boy Crawl John Morantz. <laughs> and you got your three Confis. You always, if you open up a Confi and um, VIP Battle Pass, you basically win. And the one us, uh, and the one Sableye for the late game push, those damage counters really matter. Do you sometimes wish you had two? Sometimes two, but I honestly, I I only pulled this play off like once. And that's because it was a really grindy game, and I was just digging really deep just for extra damage, so I can buy time to get you know to clear through the um, damage for a crawl Morant. Mm. But um, honestly, I think one's fine. Sounds good. You no, know, your draw cycle engine, obviously the one with mini on V. It's, it's always good. Radiant Greninja, best card in the deck. And then a Ringaroo. I actually added this in last uh, two last week. And um, because I didn't run it my first time, first week back at locals, because this is my second week back, and this card's actually really good because you know it just you know you just go through your plays with your um flower selecting, use a rangaroo if you have another flower selecting to scoop up again, just thins through your deck, helps you thin through your deck pretty good. I will say a play I did like that you did today was you had uh VIP battle passes mm -hmm. um that were dead in your hand and you actually use it to put it back to get rid of it into your loss zone. I thought that was a really good play. Yeah, it's just really good. You, if you don't if you want to use your loss if you want to make sure your loss zone fodder is worth it, worth value. Supporters, obviously best card in the deck. Of course experiment probably might be the best card in Pokemon right now. I think it's just really good. You can play in anything. Just look at top five cards, you keep you get three. It's so, it's just pretty much free. Yep. It's, a, it's a free card. It's so free. Um, Pokemon Catchers, aka Boss's Orders. Two. Might want to run a three, but honestly, two is fine. Support accounts really doesn't really matter as long as you just draw into your um, courses. One Marnie. I actually, honestly, last uh, two weeks ago, I caused my. I actually played myself because I thought this card was N. And I shuffle my whole hand in the deck instead of shuffle my hand, put it on the bottom of my deck, then draw. So I actually got the DQ on that. And I thought I actually won because I ended up winning the game ultimately because I it was just a miss I just misread the card. So I called myself to go five hundred again back to back weeks because just because I can't read. <laughs> so Marnie is actually a really good card if you don't know how to read. Mm. And then one Roxanne, I actually finally pulled it off pulled off the Roxanne. Um I had a late game and then I needed a late game push. I just needed to dig deep and the guy was already had it had the advantage. Just helped me get that um Giratina play. Sounds good. Trainers, obviously, scoop up nets, cards, nuts, comfy, comfy, comfy. If you open up with at least two and a battle pass, well and you get two comfies on the on the board, you instantly get the car the craw morant plays off. Four mirror gates. I thought this card was terrible, but honestly, I realized how busted this card really is. Especially if you know how to manage your energies, manage your energies. You can basically just charge up your um, Garatinas. This is how you accelerate your Garatina plays right here. VIP battle passes. I play three. Um, thought four was too cloggy, but three is actually just consistent enough. You can at least you can open up with it once you get it. Once you get it off. Once you get it off, it's pretty basically you basically won the game, and the rest is basically discard fodder or lost on fodder. Um, quickie balls. You play three. Um, you don't want to discard too much, but you do want to disc. You want to at least discard enough. I, that's why I find three is, is a really good, really good ratio within within the whole deck list. Um, basically, quick balls. You know, you get your Giratinas, you get your Giratinas, your your Rangaroos, Cromorants, anything, and two Ultra Balls, just mm. for you mainly for your V Star. If you need that late game push, or just you need a you just need to put a big body, bigger body out. If you don't have your quick balls on the ground, um, two Pokemon tools for your Cromorant, two Pokemon tools for your Cromorant. 
or your Giratina. You know, your Giratina does 160. This one makes it um, 190 off rip. That's putting a lot of hurt on any Pokemon. Those small fodder Pokemon like the Crobat Vs, your um, those Snorlaxes, and anything. This is just a really good card. Air Balloon, basically just for your, for your treat, float stones. Use it for your comfy plays if you don't have to scoop up nets. Escape Rope, also you do extra boss's orders right there. Basically your boss's orders. And then my one splash of uh, Lost Vacuum, I think this is really good against the Mirror Match. Also helps you feed your Lost Zone, Lost Zone fodder, because you know you have to just send a card to the Lost Zone to chuck any stadium. Uh, it was really good against the um, the Zorg matchup because that stadium card is really really scary. Mm -hmm. You need to you need to get rid out of your, out of the field. This helps. Just pretty much a plus play. You see an heavy ball, great card. Just go through your go through your deck, go through your prize cards. Um, even if you don't have anything good in, good in there, still good to look at your prize cards right now. Yep. It's, it's just pretty much free resource. And Uxie. One ordinary rod. I did not know how really good this card actually was. I thought it was you pick one or the other, and that's yeah. it. And I realized you could do both. So, you know, when it's, you it's a crazy super rod. It's a real. It's like this is a really it's like a plus one super rod. It's, it's a really nutty card. And like, you know, you go through, you go through your Greninja plays. You're just you're you're digging through late game. You get this. But honestly, I hate seeing it in the opening hands because like if I have to go through flower selecting or even chorus plays, it's just kind of dead. But like. It's amazing late game, and the one training court, just because the um, it's always live. It's always live with um, Great Ninja, mm. and I got the big gold. Got the big gold one. Yeah, and That's then for sparkly. energies, I'm not cool enough to get a uh, foil energies. So for psychic, for grass, two water, basically ten energies. Got to manage your energies at all times. That's why that's managing energies all times. Going to make sure you at least have at least three and three, mainly to at least play through the game because these water energies are useless once late game. So if you have a fine, if you have a way to get these water energies in your hand for discard fodder, it's really good or really good for um, lost soul fodder. You want to see, so you want to make sure these these, these things are gone. These things are gone, but because you want to make sure you want to use your resource on your on your um. Grass and um, psychic energies. Are there any matchups you feel like are this deck has a little difficulties with? I'd say the Gujar matchup. Um, since Gujar is just too big, it's just really too big. I feel like it can compete with pretty much any, like the Palkia matchup, the Mirror match. Long as you just, as long as you outtemple your opponent, you you basically you want you can basically win. Um, usually the slower Arceus decks, the more the the non Palkia or Arceus decks. Mm -hmm. You can basically win, um, and then really play much against like the other, like other like smaller rogue decks yet. But I feel like deck, this deck can compete. It's just only the main problem is it just it's just damage output. If you can't put enough high damage output, it's um you're basically struggling to keep up because you know the Gujar deck is pretty much really really good, and it could just outgrind anyone. It can just outgrind anyone because Gujar is such a big card, it's just so thick. It's a thick thick dino. Um, Outside of that, um, this deck, honestly, if it was like, you know, format, it's a little more slower paced. Not even slower paced, but less uh, high HP count mo the, uh, Pokemons. This deck would be really, really good. All right, one last question. I know a lot of decks are playing four Path to the Peaks. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason why you're only running one training cord? Is it mainly because you see it so often you feel like you don't need it yourself? Yeah, pretty much. I see people, they, if I want to run into the Path to the Peak, I'm, I'm just going to, I guess I'm just going to have to, i just going to have to suffer. I don't know. You're going to utilize it because you guys, yeah. most decks usually play it. So yeah. I, I figure you don't, you can put space I can put, in for other stuff. I can put space in other stuff. And then also like, you're going to see it anywhere. You're going to get it. You're going to see it anywhere. Regardless. Everybody plays, plays those cards. All right. And any last remarks you got? Um, thanks to the locals for helping me out. Thanks for Joel and Joe for, um, Help me tinker the deck to this uh, the most optimum, optimum place. And um, yeah, subscribe to the channel, guys. We're back. We're back at it. We're back at it. Deck profiles, box openings, pack openings. We're back. We're back. Maybe some new content as well. Maybe some Let's Plays. Maybe some Luz Nuzlocks. You tell us what you want. And um, that's Jamie for 3P151. And we'll see you on the next one.